This comes from the Apple Loop library. It's a gu big guitar loop like this. And what other programs do, or what Melodyne did so far, is uh, in terms of adapting it to another tonality, you could move it up like this. But this is just like uh, having a barre chord and moving it up like this. It's not changing the voicing like a guitar player would do. So again, what we can do is, of course, separate the notes, detect the notes, and then have it split up. And then you have the single note, and then you can do with it whatever you like. change the single notes around or for example let's change the tempo I've put it on a MIDI controller here so let's make it a little bit faster so you can imagine it adapts to any song that you want to have the context in maybe like this and then we could play the chords via MIDI maybe like this material any way you would like to and you can imagine that you just with one uh, one loop out of your guitar library that you have you can arrange your whole song and you have what you really wanted so this is the real guitarist that you want to have uh, instead of just moving one chord as a whole thing up or down maybe just uh, in terms of guitar just a little more example this is um, like a, a damped guitar and uh, harmonics with it, so it's not not so much uh, notes, uh, but there are, is very much noise and very much uh, attack to it. And what you see here is that it separates out not every note that you could imagine that it's uh, on every string, but it's kind of the uh, tonally relevant material that's in there. And again, let's play that just a little bit. It's not limited to guitar material, although it would be a um, frequent application, like having a guitar, like having a piano, to be changed. Um, I have prepared another example here that's a string quartet, for example. split it up as well. You see how the voices come out. A little bit more notes in it, so it takes a little bit longer. But detection is quite fast, so it's faster than real time on most computers, depending on the CPU, of course. And it looks like this. Again, it's the same, of course. And maybe we want see uh, how it would have sounded if Mozart had composed it in minor stuff instead of major. Of course we can still grab single notes. We have this chromatic line going up here. Have it like this. 
So the last example I prepared is um, from a whole mix. It's an old piece by Chet Baker. Um, I always say it's more meant to be like working on single instrument tracks like we had before in Melody. You record in a studio an instrument, say a guitar on its own track, say a piano on its own track, and so that works best with that material. But if you want to, you can also try it with whole mixes like this. Thank you. 